Okay, Mary, here comes the right side. And what we're looking for here, I guess, is that putting on the brakes when that hand is higher than the elbow. So right here, you're pretty straight. I think your right arm's a little better than your left arm. Uh, there's not too much, whoops, sorry. <laughs> there's not too much drop into the elbow there. There's not too many bubbles coming off, which is a good sign. There's a little drop in the elbow there. Um, if you look compared to your wrist, your wrist is a little higher than that elbow. We want it the other way around. We want the elbow up and the wrist down um, to get that good vertical forearm and that good catch up front. But the fact that there's not many bubbles coming off is a good sign. And then once you get down here, like I said, you really engage that catch and it's moving you forward. we got to work on that front part to help make it a complete stroke. The left arm I'm going to point it out here in case our other side video isn't very clear. It has a lot of bubbles, and there, there's your elbow, there's your wrist. So we've got a little bit more significant drop there. And like I said before, this is, you know, the water's going this way as you're moving through it, and this is putting a break on it. It's just another surface that's slowing you down, and we obviously don't want that. So if we can get that elbow up and that hand down, and we're pulling along with that water move in the right direction. And then those bubbles just kind of come ripping off of there. It's still right there, that's all bubbles. So that's just water slipping through rather than being pushed back. And I'm going to let you just watch it straight through one more time with the slow motion and you can kind of see those bubbles a little more. Here you go. That left arm has a lot of bubbles. Right arm looks good. Nice job.